Hello, I'm Frank Leo, the product support lead at Instron, the global product support lead. And today, I'm going to welcome you to this session of the Instron Live, where we'll be talking about the report capabilities and functions in the Instron Blue Hill Universal Software. Now, why are we even talking about reports? Well, you we spend a lot of time, money, and effort running tests. And the end result is basically the test report. So the test report represents your organization, your lab, and company. You need to be able to put in information that you need and define, as well as additional information defined by ASTM, ISO, and other test standards. You need to be able to do this very easily and quickly. So what we're going to do is go through a demonstration of how easy and intuitive the software is to do this. At the end of the session, feel free to ask any questions. So now we'll do a demonstration of the software. Here you actually see the Blue Hill software is in simulation mode right now. And this is a very familiar home screen for you, which is the test method, analysis, and admin. There's simply four tabs on the home screen. I'm in landscape mode because I'm running on my computer, on, on a computer itself. If we're running on an instrument dashboard with a touchscreen interface, it can be in portrait mode. It's really whatever you like. So now let's go right into a test. We're gonna run a test and we're gonna choose a method here. And a system then pops up. This is something you should be familiar with. A pretest screen could have a picture of the test, certain instructions, could be prompts. And the system's now giving me a message telling me to set up the cross at limits on a machine. And we go right into the test screen. This is a runtime test screen. And on the top, you see the uh, measurements, whatever you define in the test method. This whole screen is defined by the test method itself. And you see there is the graph, the result table, statistics information, and you have the operate input panel on the right. Now, there's certain information there that you can enter, such as sample ID, the lot number, operator, that's me, already there. And there's, here's an example of a nice little choice list, right? What color material, and I'm testing blue material today. Uh, I'm not gonna touch the dimensions at the moment. And since I'm ready to run the test, I can just click start. And the system is now running the test. It's been on the system, uh, the specimen is in the machine, in the grips, running the test right now. It's auto scaling. You see this is a force versus displacement curve. It can be a stress versus strain curve, whatever is defined by you in the test method, or you can change it on the fly here. So the test is run. There's test number one is there, nice graph. We see the results here, such as maximum force, tensile stress at yield, modulus, and so on. And we see some statistics. We see max and min. We don't have the other statistics, such as coefficient of variation, standard deviation yet, because there simply isn't enough in the sample population to get that. So that's a nice quick test we just ran, right? Now, let's actually take a look at the other tabs there. You see a test tab, you see a method tab, you see a report tab. Now, Blue Hill Universal Software runs on a very unique and innovative tab architecture. That means that each tab represents a certain part of the software. The method tab is where you can set up everything related to the method. And the report tab is where we're gonna go right into is what defines the report. Now these tabs can be locked. They can be hidden. It depends on the operator rights based on their username and password itself. So we're gonna click on the report tab here. And what do we see? We see the report itself. On the left is the dialogue that talks about the, what you can set up in a report. And on the right is the preview panel. And the preview panel, so we can see there's a nice logo there of a company called ITW, great company, and some test information, the graph, and you see the result table. Now I can zoom in and zoom out on this, just take a closer look at the report there. And I say that is the layout so far. It actually has the graph and the results. This is because the system 
is intelligently and seamlessly bringing information from the test into the report. This is happening all the time while you're running the test. You don't have to move any information or say add information. It's already there in this template. Now let's go right back to test and we're going to run two more tests. So very easy, click on start on the bottom. There's test number two. You see the curve, I'm asking for curves to be overlaid on top of each other so I can compare them very easily. There's test number two. And now you start seeing some information there on statistics, right? Let's do test number three. We're gonna start there. Uh, that looks nice. There's a nice curve popping up there for test number three on that. And it ends. You see, there's a nice legend that shows you Zor color link there. There's my three tests, specimen one, specimen two, specimen three. There's my statistics. Now let's go to the report tab. We can actually, at this point, just print the report. If I save this and end it, I can have the report printed out automatically to the printer of my choice on the system. I can have the report emailed automatically to an email list of people. There's a lot of things that you can do here. But let's go to report, take a close look at what we have there, and we see the report. You see the refresh? This system actually shows me now three curves and the results. Again, you can zoom in, take a nice quick close-up look on that and zoom out there. There is also another choice, so I didn't want to do the zoom and zoom out on the little icon there that gives you a full page layout. So what we'll do right now is take a close look at the software. This is the report tab. And we see we have a general icon, a header icon, a body icon, and a footer icon. Now, each icon explains a different part of the software report. In the general icon here, you see information such as margins. If I wanted to set the margin real easy, you just click. And in this case, I can say 0.5 inches or meter, millimeters, and it just changes the layout a little bit, the margin. This is WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. In this software, you can actually see it's very intuitive, but whatever change you see is unique. Unlike some other packages, your changes are instantaneous itself. If we don't simply put in and say it would appear in this area, and what happens during the test run, you don't actually see the changes until after the testing is over. If I want to actually click here, I see I have a drop down list. I can make a landscape. And on the system, let's do it one more time. We should get landscape mode. And there's my report in landscape. Nice report popping up there. Now let's go right back to portrait mode. because we're going to do some changes. We're still going to get a header. And on the header, you have information such as the company logo. Again, we have a drop-down list available. And we see we can put in the report date and time, user-defined field, sample information, and even a company logo, which is quite popular. Now, the company logo has actually been predefined in the admin screen. You can actually bring it in at this point via picture component here. You have other items such as a center right. These are different components in the header that you can enter there. So we won't make any change there. The footer section is very similar. You can add in information via a simple drop-down list. Here on the bottom, you can actually see there is the page number. This is now page what of what, and it will automatically change. It can be page one of two, page one of three, and so on as it moves on there itself. Now, the body of the report is where the main action is. You see it has two windows. There's a report content, which is the available items versus selected items on this. And we simply click and bring over items that we want to appear in a report. That's how easy it is to use this system here. So we have right now sample description. We have 
method description, we have the graph, and we have results. Now, that doesn't seem to have enough information for me on this, so I want to add in some para method parameters. So watch this. Simply click, bring it over. Appears at the bottom of the list right now. Just move it up. Move it up. And there you have it. This is my method information. If you want to take a close look there, you can see the sample ID, color, lot number. That's information that we we're putting into the operating panel early on. And I can move it down if I like, move it back up. So let's give you a smaller preview of everything as it goes. Now we have a graph, we have the results. Now let's move the results up a little bit. See how quickly I'm making changes. I'm gonna show you some really nice slick things you can do. If I want additional graphs on the report, I've already predefined in the method that I want to see single curves on a graph. So watch this, so I do that. Bring it in and I take a look and I see instantaneously, I see single graphs of each test. Specimen one, specimen two, specimen three. So not only can I see all my graphs together, which graph one, but graph two, I can define even as stress strain, whatever I like on this. Now that, that's gonna be a lot of paper, a lot of, of a report. So suppose I said, well, I like to shrink this a little bit, make it a smaller graph on this. So I simply go here and I'm gonna take away something called best fit. Best fit is a really nice function on a system, uh, but I can actually say, okay, you know what? Let's make it a two, by two graphs. So let's take a look. And they're automatically next to each other. Very nice so far, right? You see your report, logo, test information, results, and your graphs. Another thing I might want to do is say, let's bring a picture. Many people like to say, bring in a picture of the test so whoever's reading the report can see what's going on. And I'm simply going to now click here and bring in a picture of the test. And if I take a look now, there's a picture of the test on a report. Simple as that. Um, last thing I'm going to show you is really the page break. And the page break. I can move up and say move and break it just before the graph. So I have all the graphs together on one page. Now let's take a look. We have our page, small look, at what's going on. There's my report, there's my graphs, and there's my picture separately. Three separate pages. If I wanted to space things apart, you see it's kind of close together. I simply go to an item here, such as the results. I want to give a little header there, right? Say, telling people that these are results. Let's type in a word there. And I'm going to give a little space there on a system. One inch. It could be millimeters if you choose a different unit. See a nice spacing there now on the report. You can do different layouts. There's my report popping up right now. So. That, in a nutshell, is how you run the software. You can see how easy it is, how intuitive it is. Now, you don't have to do any of this, in fact, because the system comes with 12 predefined test report templates. They're very popular. They landscape and portrait mode. Uh, and you simply go into the method and link a test report template to your method. And then that test method will print that report when it's all done. In addition, there is help on the system. I'm not going to go into the help because the system locked up before because there's two screens using this here. So you can actually see the help, and it is context sensitive. It actually shows what is on the screen here. So let's give it a try anyway. So. Oh, it does pop up. This time it worked. So here you can see it goes 
body content for the report. You see it talks specifically about the report. The Instrument Blue Hill Live software is content sensitive. We don't pop up the entire manual until you just to figure out where to look for the information. It goes into information talking about the report, plus related concepts will appear on the screen automatically, as you can see here. So here it is. This is a report template, very easy to use the report function. It's intuitive. There isn't much you need to know about it. Uh, operates exactly the same as the rest of the software. So you don't have to learn a brand new package or pay for an extra package. So I'm um, going to thank you for your time for doing this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask it right now. OK, so let's take a look here under questions. OK, see some questions here. Can I create a PDF of the report? The answer is absolutely. In the method, you have a choice of creating a PDF automatically after the test is done, or even an HTML. So if you have a company intranet, you can do that. Um, is the report only in English? No. Remember, Blue Hill software contains 26 different languages. I can be even running in Thai, Korean, Chinese, two different versions of Chinese, up to you on that. Once you set up the system, you could be running in that language and it can come out, the entire test can be in that, in that particular language. And in fact, you can share those report templates coming across at any time and the methods. That's very, that's why Blue Hill software is, is a global package. Um, can I export to third party packages for example, LIMS. Yes, the software has, for a later date, we can talk about that, but it has the capability of creating a, any user-defined export of files such as CSV or other formats. The limitation is all up to the user to set up in the software in a method. And so your package can pick it up. In addition, we have a standard API interface, which a lot of companies take advantage of. So everything is automatic and seamless coming across their package. So um, explain everything to you. You can see how easy it is. Uh, so thank you for this session. There'll be more sessions coming up in the future. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact us worldwide. In the U.S., we have a 1-800 toll-free number uh, for service and support, as always. Again, this is Frank Leo from Instron. Thank you for your time.